guys, welcome back to my channel, it's Teacher Raft. This is Twilight Zone episode 55. I want to start with a brief review of Pope Paul VI. Then I will move on to a few YouTube news clips that you can watch on your own time and understand the banking fiasco and some of the secret thousands of transactions that have occurred without the Vatican Bank's actual permission. And then I'll end with a brief introduction to the episode after this one about John Paul I's mysterious death after 33 days. Here's another article. There was more to bless Pope Paul VI than meets the eye. Misunderstood Pope. He brought the completion of Second Vatican Council, which is a very political kind of thing. From the start of his tenure as pontiff, Pope VI broke with tradition by asking to pare down papal practices, pomp, and liturgy during his papacy. He gave his papal tiara to the poor, abolished part of the pontifical nobility, and asked to be buried in a plain wooden casket. His wish was answered at his funeral in 78. Pages of the Gospels flirted over the casket in gesture that was touching in its simplicity. He seems like he was the real deal okay so if you're familiar with the miracle of fatima then you would know about the third secret and it says my child they converse of the secret that i gave at fatima it is simple explanation it could not be fully revealed because of the drastic nature of my message how i warned and warned that satan would enter into the highest realms of the hierarchy in rome the third secret my child is that satan would enter into my son's church 78 may 13th so if you go to this website you'll be able to see all of the details and there's a lot of information a lot of links and that there was some kind of premonition prior that was trying to warn um, the pope and the some of the church figures that this would happen sister lucy tried to warn pope paul the sixth on may 13 1967 after a mass okay she says i want to have a private conversation with you he refused it is not the moment. If you go to this website, you'll see this. So if you go to PBS NewsHour and you look up July 9, 2014, you'll see that Pope Francis picks new leader for troubled Vatican Bank. This is around the time period when the Pope put together a committee to investigate the financial dealings of the Vatican because so many strange things were occurring. And these strange things, like I said, they're not necessarily coming out of the Vatican Bank. They're coming out of the Vatican. So that's really confusing. What does that mean? It means that there's two banks or there's a multiple multiple banks that are operating out of the Vatican uh, under the guise of the Vatican Bank and who controls these other banks and you know they're dark actors another PBS NewsHour article from December 2014 Pope chides Curia for greed gossip and getting ahead Curia are the people closest to the Pope so like I said, there's an internal struggle going on between good and bad actors. 
and a lot of these bad actors are pretending to be good so it's hard for the public to know well who's good and who's bad when they're all pretending to be good in a previous episode I briefly noted or said that there is an Indian uh, news station news agency WION they speak English but they reported about the Vatican they report about the Vatican in December 29 2020 okay and also just recently January 4th okay and basically there was an investigation so Pope Francis uh, created a board to investigate the church's financial dealings about seven or eight years ago okay because there were already reports of some underhanded things going on so there's some bad actors within the Vatican moving money from left to right they found some um, bad actors they they fired them they let them go I believe there were charges brought up against these people and so if you look at the news from this website here or the channel on YouTube then you'll be able to see what they're talking about in detail how that evolved basically money was sent to Australia okay 2.3 billion here's the kicker there is like the Vatican Bank and then there's like a shadow bank working behind the scenes and it's not like a singular entity there's branches touching it and this is what we're seeing there were like thousands of uh, transactions but they didn't lead from the Vatican Bank they led from the shadow bank acting out of the Vatican there are bad actors that are trying to take down the Vatican uh, simultaneously while they're using it as a shell here's another article CBS News just a few days back January 22nd 2021 okay Vatican banker convicted you can go through and check this out and this is because the Pope put together a committee seven years ago um, and that committee found wrongdoing so if you go to Wikipedia and you look at the Pope's you'll see when Pope Paul the sixth became a Pope in 63 and then he passed away in 78 and then it says the last Pope to be crowned okay so that might be significant because after that um, this Pope abolished the coronation and opted for the papal inauguration okay so if you're a scholar or theologian you might know the details of what that means but what's important is the Pope that came after him only survived for 33 days which is a deep dive in itself basically I've read reports that allegedly he may have been poisoned because they couldn't uh, convince him to do certain things thanks for watching and stay tuned for part three hit like hit subscribe and remember be safe.